What's up everybody, HTG Brian here, and we are back with LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. This is Episode 2, Chapter 2, Discovery on Kaminu. Free play! Did, did, did I say that right? Kaminu? Ah, you Star Wars guys, let me know down below. We are going to get that Disarmed Troopers red brick. We're going to get all ten of those mini kits. Of course, we're going to get those two goo bricks that we didn't get on our first adventure through here. And uh, if I'm being totally honest, I messed up. I was supposed to buy the Attract Studs. I at least remember to turn on my 2X. We're going to hop in and, of course, choose our good buddy Forlom. But, uh, yeah, you're definitely probably going to want to buy that red brick for Attract Studs. We actually pick it up at the beginning of the next video, so don't worry. It's not too far ahead. And it does tremendously help with those true Jedi stud counts. So, Forlom is officially selected. If you want to know more about him, check out our Preparing for Free Play video. And, of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell as well. Now, as the gameplay begins here, we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the left with a character that has the Vols. Go ahead and use the Force to lift up this... I don't know what this is, some sort of a ledge. Once you get up there, double jump with Jar Jar, and me thinks is you going to get it. Uh, I don't know about those Jar Jar references. I definitely enjoy Jar Jar in the movies, and I know a lot of you guys do not enjoy him, so I'll try to keep those references to a minimum. All right, now the right side there is actually the way on out of here, so I didn't want to focus too much on stud farming right now. And in fact, the stud farm is not necessarily needed in this level. There are plenty of blues, and if you got that 2x multiplier, it goes rather fast. Hey, don't forget too, Thumby just quickly reminded us that we do have quick links down below in the video description. What that means is if you're here simply for those collectibles and you've already played this level and you know how to beat it in and out, you might want to just go ahead and jump from collectible to collectible, and you can do that by clicking those quick links down below however if you clicked one you're probably already to the next one as we're going to go ahead and use a droid to float across from platform to platform and get out there and grab mini kit number two now i took a chance and tried to go around the back side of this building here thinking that there might be a people out there oftentimes they hide blue and purple in those kind of obscure locations but hey we went ahead and repaired the antenna out in the middle section there which gave us the bridge and now we can go ahead and keep on keeping on and make our way on inside now, there is quite the roundabout here, and if you follow it all the way around, you're going to come to a closet that has some stuffs. You can earn some more studs by simply opening up the closet with uh, some sort of a droid like uh, R4 here. Now, we've got some stuff that requires the fools. As soon as you use it on the old garbage can, it pukes out a bunch of studs. <laughs> Now we'll go ahead and grab those. Now, if you really are wanting to get studs, you can actually use the force on that broom and go all the way around that roundabout. And when you get all the way back to the closet, it actually pukes out a whole bunch more studs for you. So that's up to you if you want to do that or not. It was a little bit of a time waster, so I opted to skip it. But uh, as we keep on with the keeping on, we're going to find ourselves in this room with all these blue pressure-sensitive switches on the floor. We're going to go ahead and hit them with a rapid succession, which will open up that computer terminal in the middle and allow us to use the force on so that we can go ahead and manipulate the doors in the back and gain access to the two hallways that are currently being blocked. So, all right, so we got some extra stuff here. I was a little worried that I wasn't going to have enough studs. As you guys know, the last few levels have been super grinds. And then I look up as soon as I start grabbing these. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm almost at the end. Maybe I can grab this right now. Now, as you guys know, too, once you achieve the true Jedi status, it actually does not go away. Even if you die a bunch and lose a bunch of studs, you still have that status, which is good. Because if you don't reach it and you die, you're going to lose a lot of studs. And it's going to be a heck of a lot harder to get to that final I, I guess it's 65k in this one so the final 65,000 all right we got a bounty hunter terminal here that it's going to be required for Lom or somebody like him to go ahead and open that up now we've got some of these uh floating platforms again I definitely recommend using a droid with the float ability such as R4 here uh you can see that it actually works with a double jumping Jedi but uh I didn't want to risk it after getting to the fourth platform all the way on the far right, which is a little different than the rest of them, you can use the fools on the ground here, and it's going to go ahead and lift up some sort of a, a raised platform, which we can switch on over to Jar Jar and double jump up there to get it. Now, I... There's these four bluesies here. How on earth do you get those? I tried three times and failed three times, so I decided that I was just going to keep on with the keeping on because I didn't want to be stuck here forever. All right, go out to the middle platform on the front side here. We're going to go ahead and switch to somebody like Forlom that can get his pew-pew on. And that's going to go ahead and give us a nice little bridge access point to get out to the far side here. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. We're going to need somebody to go through the little hobbit holes. 
but they are not set up in the way they should be. So as you can see, I went through the middle one thing, and it was going to take me to the middle tube, but it was not the middle tube. I'm going to go to the far right one, and oh, look at that. It took me to the middle. So hopefully it'll be the same for you, and you guys can easily access those. And speaking of easily access, don't forget we got quick links down below in the video description. As we go ahead and ring off that true Jedi, you might find that you already have that and are ready for the next collectible. If that's the case, feel free to click that quick link down below. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Quick, quickly click the click, quick, quick, bleh, bleh. All right, you, you guys get the point. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and progress with the story. But before going to the end of the hallway, make sure that you flip these lights on both sides of the hallway down. To, well, I guess you just got to spin to win. Once you get all six of them, da, 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 Booyaka Show! We're going to go ahead and be rewarded with a bunch of studs as well as a mini kit. So we are officially halfway done with those collectibles. And in fact, we're getting pretty close to that red brick as well. So uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a battle at the end of this video that uh, probably could have been left behind, but I opted to stick around for it. Uh, okay, we're doing this a little out of order with our achievement guide here. However, I found it was easier to get into this room without those pew pew shooting at you. So uh, it's a little secret passage room. You're going to need somebody like Dolph Veda to go ahead and open the Stormtrooper door. And inside we've got this game of like, it's kind of like Twister or something. you got to like stand on one and the other character will stand on the other. Once you get them all lit up though, it goes ahead and rewards us with that red brick and a little bit of a disco show. Jungle Boogie, Jungle Boogie. My dog's looking at me like, what are you doing, dude? You're already talking to yourself right now. Now you're singing and dancing. Uh, there was a big sigh that came from old Drexler, but anyways, all right, moving along, we got to go back a little bit as we go into, uh, I guess, I guess it's Young Fett's room. Is it is it Django or Boba? I feel like it's Jenga, right? J Jenga, J Django. Am I playing a board game or am I talking about a Star Wars character? I don't know. <laughs> all right, I apologize for my brainisms. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take out those three bombs in the right corner there, which is going to give us a power-up, which will help us collect studs. It's supposed to give us a uh, multiplier. I'm not 100% sure that it does that. Some of you guys may be able to confirm that. Some of you may be able to deny it. Either way, you go ahead and use the force on that machine four or five times until all of the bits come out on the ground, and you can go ahead and manipulate them again using the force onto the wall, making that nice mosaic painting of the FET, the FET face. And once you got that, you can go ahead and collect that mini kit and keep on with the keeping on. Us, we are going to go ahead and, well, I guess we're going to use this door real quick. Beep boop, 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 beep boop. All right, hey, uh oh, look. <laughs> Rocket time. All right, we got inside there, got a couple extra studs, and now we are out of here. Now, remember a minute ago I said that door on the left was probably easier access without the guns? Well, you could always take them out, too. That's always an option. Then you can go ahead and make your way in there if you have not already, but we are chasing the fat. And before we chase them through that hole in the wall there, we got to stand on these soikles here, and our AI will stand on the opposing circle. And if we do it right, we should get all three of them lit up, and we should be able to grab that mini kit there. And you definitely want to do that before slipping through the old soikle there. Uh, as you can see, we've gone through there, and there is, I don't think you can go back. Normally you can go back through, but you, I don't think you can make that jump. But, uh, all right, speaking of going back, we're going to head to the left, away from where the FET is running, and we'll go ahead and use a glider character to get out to this platform and collect mini kit number eight. Now, we just got two mini kits left, and of course, a boss battle, and a little bit of a chase scene here, too. I did much better this time against these, oh, I, I, they're not proton torpedoes, what, where are they? Are they thermal detonators? They, they look a little different than the traditional detonator. There's some sort of bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm kind of getting up close to them and then immediately turning around as soon as I see them kind of indicate that they have been set off. And then I avoid the explosion so I can keep my studs because although we do get the true Jedi, I am still trying to collect as many studs as possible to purchase all of the red bricks and characters that will need to be procured as time goes on. Now, at the end of the ramp here, we're going to go ahead and use a grapple hook to get up top and use a droid of some sort to go ahead and activate this uh, elevator and of course I have to get good and that's the GUD good as I failed here um, I was waiting for the elevator to go back down I'm like come on buddy anytime now but that is not how this works we're gonna go ahead and have to activate it one more time beep boop boop beep boop it comes down now you got to time this just right you got to hit all three of these targets as you're going up the elevator and it's pretty simple it's just a matter of hitting it right before you get next to it once you get all three of them pinged and look at that we can go ahead and drop down and grab mini kit number nine all right, this next section, I apologize for it because I totally noob it up. 
Uh, N-U-B noob here, too. It's not even the correct N-O-O-B. It's N-U-B. Uh, as it turns out, you need to use a floating droid to get over there, but you gotta stand on the switch first to open it up. Now, I swear I stood on that, and for whatever reason, apparently I didn't weigh enough or something to get it down, but, uh, there we go. We got both of them out now. We just need to use the holes to go ahead and reveal yet another robot terminal. Go ahead and, uh, there we go. We're in. Oh, up we go. All right, uh, he is out of here. Now, there are two, I repeat, two spots on the right-hand side that need a little help from a droid. Watch me hit them both. One, bring the green. All right, now two. There we go, watch. No green, no green. What is up with that? The game totally denied me, and as a result, the cap was not put on the little tube to prevent more of these flying guys from coming in and ruining my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. There should only be two there for you, but make sure you get them good, as I did not. And look at that, we've officially taken them all down, and because the tubes are blocked, they cannot get back in. Switch to Darth Vader, or somebody with the dark side of the force, and make your way into the new room revealed. And of course, there are a whole bunch of those drones waiting to thwart our plans. But we'll go ahead and double down by twisting these... I guess that's the dark side of the force wheels. And then I'm just gonna bail out of here. There are a ton of guys, but I can't bail. The door is closed. Oh no. <laughs> so take out all the floating drones. Once you get all, I think there's eight of them. Six or eight of them. I don't know. I can't count. My math is not so good these days. It looks like six. Once the six are removed, the door will open and you can go ahead and advance. And like I said, there is a little bit of a boss battle coming up here. So there's probably two minutes or so of video time left. However, you have officially collected all of the collectibles. So you are no longer needed to stay here and watch this video, but I do greatly appreciate it as watch time definitely helps us out. And of course, you know, you guys might want a little tip and trick on how to complete this final situation here. So, uh, all right, we got the slave up there floating around. We've got uh, young Fett inside shooting at us. So I, I believe that's Boba up in there, right? And then we got Jenga down here. J Django? Jenga? Is it Django or Jenga? Come on, guys! Get it figured out! Let me know! No, I'm just kidding. It's my bad. I, uh, you know, I actually found out how... So I love Star Wars, like, and I've always considered myself a Star Wars nerd. As I talk to some people, like, that are close to me, like Barry Bell, one of my good buddies who lives over, uh, well, lives a long way away from me. But he's probably one of the most, uh, well-versed in Star Wars and all. He, he, I don't think anybody knows Star Wars better than him. That I know. Let me just clarify that, that. That I know. I'm not trying to say that Barry knows more than anybody. But I am saying that Barry... I don't know if many people like Star Wars much more than Barry does. That being said, uh, every time I talk to him, I'm always like, oh, gosh, I don't know nearly as much as I thought I did. And when I started playing this game, too, it had been a while since I watched some of the movies, and I had complete brain farts on the names of ships, the names of people, even this area. Kaminu? That, that just sounds like, it sounds like, a, like an old car truck, right? An old Kaminu? <laughs> Kamino? <laughs> Get it, right? See? I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I do appreciate you guys hanging out, watching these videos, clicking those quick links, and of course, hitting that like button and ringing that sub bell as well. Now, as it turns out, I got them all the way down to three hearts. It's the rule of three, you guys. You have to activate all four of these terminals three times, and in between each time, you will get a chance to attack him. And uh, the heartage is a little different. I think you get four hearts the first time, and then four hearts the second time. No, three hearts the second time. My ma Again, my math is not so good today. It's early. If I'm being honest, it's like super early. I'm not even sure the sun is fully up. Like, it's early right now. And look at that. Pew, pew, pew. He is officially done. And we've got that disarmed trooper's red brick on. Lock, lock, lock. We also got that true Jedi stud requirement. In fact, we blew the roof off that and made our way well into the, uh, well, the exceeding the expectations column. And we've got a little under 1.5 million, but because we got all those mini kits, we're actually gonna go racing right over the top of that. So we should be able to purchase a whole bunch of stuff, including that attract bricks. Oh, sorry, the attract studs red brick. Looks like we're doing pretty good attracting the bluesies right now. We'll take those, thank you very much. We'll go ahead and collect both of those red, oh, sorry, gold bricks. Boy, I am falling apart here. And of course, don't forget to click that like button, even if I can't talk correctly. That will go ahead and officially wrap it up, though, for LEGO Star Wars, The Complete Saga, Episode 2, Chapter 2, uh, Discovery on Kaminu. I hope I'm saying that right. I always manage to slaughter things. 
pulling a Dougie. Hey, though, that is going to go ahead and wrap things up for me. As always, until next time. Slayer!